Hi there, today we're going to practice counting coins including quarters. So let's review the coins first. First we have this coin here, and that is the penny. It's worth one cent. Next we have this coin. Do you remember what this coin's named? It's the nickel. You're correct, it's the nickel, and it's worth five cents. This is the penny. P-E-N-N-Y, and this is the nickel, N-I-C-K-E-L. Next on our list is this coin here. It's a little bit smaller than the nickel. It's worth 10 cents, and it's called a dime, D-I-M-E. And finally, we have this coin here. And this coin is worth 25 cents, and it's called the quarter, Q-U-A-R-T-E-R. -E and if you look right here, this is the new one, it actually says right here on the coin, quarter dollar. So let's try adding some of these coins together. All right, so we have some coins here, and they are nicely organized for you from largest to smallest, because that's the way we count. We always start with the bigger numbers and work up. So how much is this coin worth? You're right, it's a quarter, so it's worth 25 cents. Now we're going to count on to figure out how much we have here. So if this is a quarter, it's worth 25, and this is a quarter, so that's worth 25. So 25 plus 25 would be... That's right, 50 cents. And we have two dimes here. And dimes are worth how much? That's right, they're worth 10 cents. So we have 50 cents, let's add a 10. That's right, we're at 60 cents. But we have another dime here, so we're gonna add that one in too. So now we have 70 cents. Now this guy here, what's he worth? That's right, he's worth 5 cents, so we're at 70 plus 5, that's right, 75 cents. And finally we have one more here, and how much is he worth? The one with Abraham Lincoln, the president. That's right, he's worth 1, so we have 75 cents, add one more coin, we have 76 cents. So the total amount we have here is 76 cents. Now quick reminder. If you're arranging coins, you always go from the greatest amount over to the least amount, the smallest amount. So you can count on. It's much easier to count the bigger numbers and keep adding on the smaller and smaller amounts. Nice work. Now that we've seen this with images, now we're going to try with just the words. We're going to figure out the value. So it says, what is the value of two quarters, three dimes, and two pennies? So one quarter is 25 cents. Two quarters would be worth how much? That's right, 50 cents. We have 25 plus 25, and that equals 50 cents. Those are the two quarters. Now we have three dimes here. How much is each dime worth? That's right, 10 cents each. So let's add them on to our 50 cents here. So 10 cents plus 10 cents plus 10 cents. Let's count on. 50 plus 10 is, we hopped here, we have 60, plus another 10 would make 70, plus another 10, we'd be at 80 cents. So now we have 80. And we have two pennies. How much is a penny worth? That's right, one cent. So we're going to add one more on, and another one on. So one plus one is two. So now we have 80 plus 2. If we add 80 plus 2, we get our total of 82 cents. Nice work. Another way we could think of this is we know that 25 plus 25 is 50 cents. 3 dimes, 10, 20, 30. So we'd add 30 plus 2 pennies is 2 for a total. 50 plus 30 would be 80 
plus the two more, we add those together, and we have 82 cents. Nice job. Okay, we have a little bit larger one here. What is the value of three quarters plus four dimes and one nickel? So first we have to figure out what three quarters is worth. So we have three quarters, 25 plus 25 plus 25. So we know that 25 plus 25 is 50. Add 25 more on and you have 75 cents. So we're at 75. Now we talked about how we could add our dimes together. So let's count up together in tens. So four tens is the same as the number 40 or 10, 20, 30, 40. So if we put those together we have 40 cents. Can we add 75 plus 40? Sure we can. So 5 plus 0 is 5. 7 plus 4 is 11. So we have a big number here. We're at 115 cents right now. And we have one nickel. Nickel's worth how much? That's right, 5. So if we add 5 more on here, we've added those together, and we're going to add another 5 cents. And we have 115. Skip count by 5s. That would be 120 cents. Nice work. Now, another thing to remember is if we have 120 cents, that also can be mentioned as a dollar format. 100 pennies is one dollar. So we have a dollar right there because we have over 120 cents. We have one dollar. And how many cents do we have left? That's right, 20. So it can also be known as one dollar and twenty cents. Nice work. To review we've been counting coins including quarters. So a quarter is worth how much? One quarter. That's right, it's worth twenty-five cents. How much is a dime worth? You're right, ten cents. How much is a nickel worth? You're right, if you said five cents. And our favorite one, a penny. How much is a penny worth? You are correct if you said one cent. So we have a quarter equals 25, a dime equals 10 cents, a nickel equals five cents, and a penny equals one cent. Keep practicing your coins and I can't wait to talk to you more about math soon.